All right, this is unearthed. Um, Some secrets are worth adventuring for, or so they say. Looking at where this one got me so far, I have my own take on the subject. My name is Forrest Jawad, and now I will put an end to all this. Okay, so this is unearthed. It's some sort of uh, it, was, it came on PC today for like just like three or four dollars, really cheap. And why? Oh, sweet Jesus! Why would you do that? Why is the left up. bumper? Okay, B. Why are the bumpers being used? To... Bullseye. But it's some sort of I don't know what kind of game this is. You can form blind fire. cover again but I don't, I don't really know what to expect exactly thank you for the reloading uh, I will not get used to that bumper thing that's just weird though maybe it's my fault I'm using controller on a PC game but I said third-person action and I prefer my third-person uh, third-person games on uh, you know on controller me. To throw a hold the left bumper, then. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, where do I go now? Right now he's injured. We don't know what's going on. This is episode one, and I'm already just, con I'm just like out in some environmental objects. Look for flashing objects. Is this flashing? No. Requesting backup. Huh. Yay, checkpoint. The gun is like okay. Hand to hand, Y to block, B kick, X punch. Okay. Kick, B, X punch. Can't, was he even punching me? Like, it just sort of... This is like how people who, who don't know how to fight try to fight. Did I just like... What, what happened? I guess I won? Cool, I guess. Hold on, Donia. I'm going to get you out of here. Who's Donia? It kind of just dropped us in medias res, pretty much. We don't know what's going on, I'm sure dramatic scene and then flashback to earlier that day or whatever. Now what would you do if you were me? I don't know. I don't even know what we were doing. I don't even know why we were fighting anyone. I have no context to this. Oh, yeah, see what I tell you three weeks ago. Oh, so we've got subtitles for the subtitle. I guess. Three weeks ago, three weeks ago. Cool. So, this is Amos' temple. Yep, that's the one. 3,560 years of history in this place. 
You have to be careful and watch your steps in there. My steps? You mean you're not coming in with me? <laughs> of course not, Faris. For starters, you were the one who always enjoyed raiding tombs and uncharting mysteries in video games. Now you get to do it yourself. Besides, we need someone on the outside to go call for help in case something happens to you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you were telling me that actual consideration for my well-being went into planning this thing. Good to know someone will come and extract my body in case the quick load button doesn't work. Relax. As your elder sister, I have always been taking care of you like a baby. Well, except for when you were terribly annoying, of course. But still, I will be monitoring your movement inside the temple and guide your way through. I will be the voice in your head. Nice. A threat and an assurance, all wrapped into one. Remind me again, Dania, what am I risking my life for? Your life and my precious time. This is the final resting place for Amos, son of Ibana, who led the Egyptian army to get the Hexus out of Egypt in 1525 BC. As gratitude, the Pharaoh ordered the construction of this temple to honor him, and Amos chose a location overlooking his hometown of Nekeb. Quite a view indeed. But what's so special about it? I'm sure the grave robbers picked it clean ages ago. They picked what they thought was valuable. Almost acquired two golden daggers from one of his battles with the Hexus. He got so attached to them that he kept them in the tomb and made them into unlocking mechanisms. Some sort of keys for... Something of greater value, I presume? Exactly. An award he got for his courage called the Gold of Valor. It's a necklace with three pendants in the shape of flies made up of about half a pound of gold, making it one of the most valuable military decorations as well as the most ancient. I'm sure it's going to be a major breakthrough in archaeology, and it's going to be attributed to us. I like your collective team spirit. Let's see where this takes us. But be careful. The deeper you go in, the weaker the signal gets. No worries. I have my handy sidearm just in case a mummy decides to wake up for lunch or something. Here we go. So that was some interesting... Uh... I guess fourth wall breaking or whatever. With some of that. What secrets does this place hide? Let's move around, get a feel for it. Okay, it moves a lot. Okay, well, he's, when he's not injured, he actually controls halfway decent. Wow. You gotta see this, don't you? Yeah, what really. Well, I could tell you. But I won't. Tell me! Only risk takers get to see such beauty. He's kind of a dick. <gasps> Priceless artifacts. I'll just kick them open. Why not? I've been playing a lot of games with sort of an Indiana Jones esque feel of, over the past little bit. Last one I played was something called Deadfall Adventures, which I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. I beat that and didn't even upload This it. ancient fountain might be the key to progress. Um. Maybe if I can get the water flowing again somehow, that might help. I guess. Okay, so, hmm. Ledge to ledge. Sweet. I don't know what we just got, but it was something. So, if grave robbers. Three more of these more. pieces. Okay. But if, like, grave robbers or whatever came here already and stripped the place clean, why didn't they even attempt. At the, oh, they might be located inside pots. Huh. I guess maybe breaking pots is something we should be trying. Again, when hmm. the... Okay. Thanks for focusing. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Sounds like a bubble popping. Every time they have a little hint. I don't know, you think they, if there's something as valuable as they were talking about, someone would have come by other than, you know, someone who apparently got the idea to do this off of Uncharted games and whatever? you think some other group would be like, hey, we should do this. You know, I think this game was like, I'm pretty sure it was less than like $5. But it doesn't look too bad for that, to be completely honest. Well, for less than, like, what I paid, which is, you know, $5, whatever. Of course, that's on sale. 
but it doesn't look too bad, to be completely honest. I've certainly seen worse-looking games on, you know, that cost more. Uh, hit some artifacts. Huh, that's... That's completely unhelpful. I just kind of... It's a pot somewhere. Oh, maybe it's that pot. Okay, we can't go over the awning. No background music. Anyone catch that? It's kind of deathly quiet. <sighs> Wait, how do we ha get down? That's a serious question. How do how, hmm. Oh, over here, I'm guessing. <laughs> Come on. I don't know, this might be like a, a game earlier I played this year called Mars Warlog. It was actually kind of just bizarrely bad and good. I was, I'm kind of hoping this turns out to be like that. Just something you don't really expect to be good it's just kind of you know kind of takes you by surprise okay two more yes two more some artifacts we need to find that one that's hidden in a pot well well actually the last one was hidden in a pot are they all in pots well, let's look around Here, pot, pot, pot. Hmm. What's the... Hmm. <clears throat> you know, I, maybe these, those, you know, bases would be better suited to not kicking. Like, you could flip them or reach your hand inside the vase and be like, Hey, artifact, and I didn't have to destroy the other artifact to get it. How are these little circular things causing the water to flow? I mean, are they... I don't know. One more to go. Okay, another pot. At least it has... Find a way to unlock this huge gate. There must be a way to do that. Look around carefully. Well, I'm three-fourths of the way through, but I appreciate... How do you wait? How do you know what's in here? He never described anything to you in here. He even he was a dick about it and said, huh, only adventurers or something get to see beauty like this. He didn't tell you what this looked like. Aha. How do you know? The four streams of the fountain are running now. Does anyone else see dots? Well okay. done. Apologize for the strange edit. The jump, I think it might be my controller is not working uh, quite as proper as I'd like it. Like, I had trouble right there with that jump for some reason. It did fix the little uh, dot problem, though. It's too dark for me to move on. I can't see a thing. Conveniently, there are lit fires in this tomb that probably hasn't been explored for a bit. Conveniently. You know, maybe the brave adventurer should have packed a flashlight. So, are we just kind of stuck here? What do you want me to do? It seems there's a drop right there, so... I can't seem to let go of the torch, either. I 
I have no idea what to do here, people. Okay, there we go. We need to walk closer and tap the Y button. This looks incredibly stupidly dangerous. Did the Grave Robbers, like, give up on, like, the first, like, room? They just saw the bases and were like, Oh, we'll take what's near the entrance of this supposedly... Are you afraid of the dark? Remember that show from when we were young? Are we, like, is this going to be a recurring theme? We're going to remember things that are in the real, you know, things that are real within the game fiction. We've had Are You Afraid of the Dark mentioned, we've had the Uncharted g games reference to, we've had Quick Saves reference to. Oh god. At least I don't have to do a balancing act. There. How about you head back, go get more supplies, like a ladder rope or something. That way you're not depending on the precariously placed wooden plank walkway to get back. You just punted that. Uh-oh. Two rooms to the left and right of it. Remember the two unlocking mechanisms I told you about earlier? That's where they come in. You need to look for two golden daggers and use them to open this door. Two golden daggers. Got it. That shouldn't be too hard to find in this place. Or should it? Donia, I see a statue holding a golden dagger up above. Try to find a way to get to it. Really, and how am I supposed to do that? Easy. Use your monkey skills. Well, at least the monkey always gets the banana in the end. In fact, two in this case. <laughs> 